Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a bride on a budget try on haul sponsored by, of course, Fashion Nova. Thank you, girl. So as you guys know, I am engaged. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so I have been sharing a lot of my bridal content with you and you guys like it. So I was thinking and I was like, hmm, how can I do my content and kind of slip bride stuff here and there? So I, I felt like doing a try and haul would really be cool and picking some bridal pieces that I love and you guys can get them. Because honestly, I wish I would have known that Fashion Nova had a bridal collection before I bought half the stuff that I did because a lot of the stuff that I did buy are dupes of things that I already bought. I'm talking insane quality and everything. I spend a lot of time finding these pieces and I feel like you guys will love them. I hope you guys will love them. <laughs> but even if like, but even if you aren't like a bride to be or anything, like I feel like I like to wear white on my birthday or like a special event. So if you like these pieces, you can like just use them for that. And I feel like nudes and whites are very popular. So Whatever, I'm calling this a bride on a budget, but anybody can take these pieces and do whatever they want with them. I'm, I'm just the test dummy trying these on for you so and telling you my opinions on them. So do what you will with this information. Okay, so first, I kind of chopped this up into little sections. So the first set of items that I am going to try on are loungewear. Now, I know, it's, uh, I know we're talking about brides, but I feel like if you are... A bride to be and you have meetings errands or whatever I feel like you should be wearing some type of white or if you're like going to get your nails done for your wedding day or if you're getting ready for your wedding day I feel like we should have some type of bridal it should be white you know what I'm saying so but that's just me because I'm just a psycho but whatever <laughs> but I am a psycho but I do feel like getting ready photos and I feel like you should be documenting everything and I just feel like it's so cute when you're wearing white and I feel like you don't need an intro when you walk into a room because they're like oh she's the bride of course like if you have any tastings or you're getting your nails done your hair trial whatever I feel like wear white I feel like it's a, a you know document all this stuff so you can get some type of um sense of what you'll look like or something I don't know it just I don't know it's just cute so the first thing that we're trying on is this PJ pajama set. I feel like these have been really, really popular lately. These um, feather pajamas, I feel like they're super, super popular right now. So of course I had to get one. Um, I, these pajamas were really, really comfortable. I'm sorry I did not iron them. There's too much to try on. I did not feel like doing that, but y'all get the gist. Um, I do like the wraparound top part. I think that's really um, cool rather than the buttons because sometimes, you know, it does get a little hot wearing um, this type of silk, but I do love it so much. Um, I probably will wear this. I probably will wear this getting ready. I'm not sure. Um, I know Daily Sleeper has some as well, but I like these because they are shiny and they just look super luxury. And who doesn't want to keep picture getting ready wearing these? I love love me some feathers. It's just luxe, like luxe. You can get some white slippers with this. I just love it. So next is that of course I know I had to get this one. Like I feel like I would be crazy not to get it. I'm I probably am the only one that did not get this dupe when it came out, but now I got it. Now this I actually will wear to get my bridal shower nails done um, or I'm probably going to wear this to get my bridal shower hair or makeup done or something like this. I just want to get a cute picture in this getting one of those services done. I think it would be really cute but this probably is the softest thing ever. Um, this is so soft and it's just so luxury. It looks cute even without the jacket. I'm kind of showing y'all like a little cute, you know. Do your little twirl girl do your thing, do your thing. Drew, I feel like if you're going to go do something or maybe get a service done, I wouldn't recommend wearing this probably to like, you know, a meeting or anything or like a tasting, obviously. But this is just something that you can wear maybe to get your nails or toes done just to look like that girl when you walk in and like, oh, she's a bride. Like, she's cute. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just a cute photo op too. And it's super, super comfortable. And one thing I really did love about it is I am 5'7 and I feel like I never can find like fast fashion things that are like... I didn't have to get this out of the tall section. It was just a regular size. And so they do run a little bit long. Yeah. So that's it for the, the lounge wear and stuff like that. Let's get into like the real clothes. One second. Next outfit is actually really funny because I got this same exact outfit for like $800, maybe $900, honestly, including shipping. 
Um, this is a matching set. This is a blazer, a feather blazer, and a feather bottom. I'm wearing this literally almost exact set to my bridal shower, but I did get like an oversized suit that did have this ostrich detail, um, like a uh, feather stuff on here. So it's so funny that they, and this was like, I think this is part of actually their spring collection. And I, I don't know if I found this in the bridal collection. I think this was in the spring collection and it had it in multiple colors. I think this is just something you should just have already. Um, I feel like this is going to be the style and just get ahead of the game because I found this out of the new arrivals. So get on it girls. This was a good pick for me. I, it's crazy how fashion works and like how these brands like come up with stuff like that like I literally I think I paid me I think this was like I don't know this is like was was no more than like 70 bucks in the in the quality of the suit is just amazing I feel like if you don't get anything from this try on haul please please get this set for me because I just love it okay, next is another two-piece set it is a suit um I am I feel like my style it's kind of like chic, but still flirty in a way. And sometimes like I like that 90s vibe and I feel like this is giving me like clueless vibes. I love this. I wore like a suit dress for my dress fitting and I always feel like, I never know why brides or brides-to-be go to the dress fitting with like no hair or makeup or anything done. Like I need to see like a little bit of what I'm going to look like. Like my hair that I have for my dress fitting was like a little similar to what or like well I'm gonna wear my hair up so obviously I wore my hair like in a sleek up to when I would go try it on I don't know why people like just roll out of bed and go try on a dress like I need to like kind of catch the vibe a little bit I had full hair full makeup done I just need to see exactly what I'm looking like but anyways um I love this mini dress by itself this like is so silky and so smooth and it just it gives luxe like I feel like there's no way that you don't like this outfit like this outfit is stunning I love it with the um, blazer and without like in the, the blazer kind of cuts you right where it needs to be like it gives you that snatched look next we have this fun flirty dress I cannot get enough I cannot get enough in this dress like this dress is so freaking cute I did not want to take it off like it is so fun it's so flirty it gives me like brunch vibes like it just gives me like I, I'm gonna wear this. I don't know what event, what bridal event I'm gonna wear this to, but I'm gonna wear it. I just don't know what. I like dresses that are built nice like this. Like underneath it has like this, this thick layer of, I don't know. I think this is tulle or something, but it just has this thick layer underneath and it's super fun and super flirty. I personally would tape my boobs up just so I can have a little profile of them and see them a little bit more um, because you can't really see them and because my boobs are kind of like, you know, they're a, little, they're a little low. I wouldn't say they're like saggy or anything, but they are a little low. I probably would tape them up just to kind of have that little perky boob moment because it is backless. You can't wear a dress. You can't wear a bra with this. This is backless. So, you know, keep that in mind. But I think this is super fun. This is actually from the Fashion of a Lux collection or whatever. Now, next is I think what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this. Um, this bodysuit that I got, I thought this was so adorable and just so cute. I love the sleeves like on it. Like they have these see-through sleeves and they're so cute. And this, I love how like the bell goes right above the sleeve. Like it's not like covering it like that. It's like that, you know, so it's cute and flirty. And it has like this draping like over the boob, you know, like I feel like it's like super cute like it's not like a deep V I could have probably went without a bra honestly I think I didn't have a bra when I tried it on but I put a bra on because I'm gonna I'm about to go somewhere to get some content but um again like you don't need to wear a bra with this and it kind of covers white never covers like nipples especially like women of color <laughs> my nipples are a little darker so um that wasn't an issue when I had it on I'm gonna obviously play back and make sure but I didn't see any when I did when I was trying it on loved it now these pants honey i have never came across a pair of slacks that fit me so good my booty looks so good in these hence why i'm wearing them today i love these so much um 10 out of 10 they are see-through however um i did not wear underwear when i tried them on but i put them on with some nude uh i put them on with a new thong you can't even see them so that's that's not a big deal and i also instead of like buttoning the bodysuit that i have on i didn't i just tucked it in because um, I just felt like it looked better that way and you didn't see like the lines because it, it's not a thong bodysuit, it's a regular like butt bodysuit. The Fashion Nova Luxe collection. 
Um, I've changed my shoes. Oh, and I also paired a few of the outfits. I probably should have said this earlier. I am pairing all the outfits today with um, Jimmy Choo. They actually have this in their bridal collection. I actually got these heels maybe like almost four years ago. They're super, super old. I may have worn them once um, to shoot i can't even remember but they're super super cute but they kind of have like a pinky hue to them so if you like them i'll link them down below as well but for this dress i put them i paired them with some renee shoes like the only shoes that i had to like kind of match it was like my renee's so i did pair them with those i will link them down below as well they're beautiful bridal shoes but now this dress is a turtleneck dress it comes like with this um slip underneath it me personally i would maybe either get a longer slip underneath and get this one taken out or i would take the slit out the slip underneath it out completely and wear it with like a white bathing suit underneath for like my bachelorette trip or something like that like i feel like that's what it gives like it's super fun and like i feel like it shows up even better in person um the white it's super heavy so i know it's like it looks expensive but this is it you see how it kind of um reflects kind of blue but it's a super fun dress i definitely recommend this like if you're going out um during your bachelorette trip or something like this this is like a like a like all eyes on you type of thing and like a 9 out of 10 um it's super heavy too like i said and it's very versatile like i love a dress where i can do multiple things too like if you have a good seamstress on hand like they can hook this up you know so last but not least, y'all know I had to save the best for last because I don't know, that's just what I do in these channels. But I saved the bridal gown, the gown, the potential wedding gown for you. Um, this was out of the bridal collection on Fashion Nova. I absolutely love this gown. I tried this one on first, actually, when I first got this package. And I was like, I'm not curious to see you know their gown and this will set the tone for everything else in this box that's literally what i told myself because i'm like i don't i didn't want to put something together that didn't represent what i would get and that's not my style i always show you guys some things that i wear and you guys actually see that i actually wear these clothes so it's not that i'm just like shoving y'all down just because this is like you know sponsorship i don't care but this is the most beautiful gown the way it supports the boobs the the material of the dress it is thick and it's luxury it's like this silk but it's not the shiny silk it's like this like well it's satin but it's not the shiny it's not the shiny satin it's like this i don't know it's super luxe it's definitely bridal gown for sure and i just tried on my wedding gowns last week so i know luxury and this is luxury i felt like i was in a thousand dollar dress yes i felt like if y'all know if y'all did any research or anything like y'all know that these type of gowns run you about a hundred like hundreds of dollars but not with this gown like this gown is so stunning like the back was beautiful i love the way it fit i love how you can adjust the boobs because like girls like me okay so i'm a full c and normally gowns like this just do not look good on me like i feel like satin gowns i originally wanted a satin gown for my wedding dress but i can never find a gown that just would support the boobs but also give me that like effortless look uh, i love this dress and i hope you guys love it too i just feel like it's so simple it's just so elegant i feel like it flows to the ground stunning and it, i feel like it's a perfect length to I think it's a perfect length for a bride, but even if you don't wear this like on your wedding day, even if it is, isn't your ceremony gown, I feel like it is still good. It is still a beautiful reception gown because it's so comfortable, but it's also a good rehearsal dinner dress. I All right, y'all, that is the end of this bridal trial haul. I feel like I got some bangers in this haul. I have never felt so confident about a haul. I'm probably going to edit this because I'm engaged, but I'm just so excited for this haul because there's so many great pieces that I hope you guys get. But um, nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end of this haul. I really appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have been so supportive during this entire journey and I just makes you just want to share more and more. So please comment, like, subscribe, interact with me as much as possible. It really helps a ton and I can't thank you guys enough for just, you know, being supportive. Like all this, you know, all this stuff that I get to do is really because of you guys. So I will see you guys in the next one. I am vlogging this week, so you guys will see me filming this on my vlog and everything so i will have that video up the following week but i just want to touch base with y'all this week so